Okay, it's time. I have been collecting things for our putting our junk back in junk journal. So, there is a lot of controversy about junk journals and what is considered junk. Okay? So, there are people who will say that if you don't use like this to make the binding, then you're not a true junk journaler. And if you're using packaging, which I was gonna use this, but I feel like, well, maybe I will. That if you are using packaging, that doesn't count as junk, like, you, like there's junk rules. Okay, let me tell you in all sincerity that I am not playing the junk rules game. I, I'm just going to make a journal that I like for me out of stuff I've collected that I would have thrown away, which to me is the epitome of junk, right? So if you have rules about junk journals, that's good. That's good. You do you. I'm going to do me, okay? So let's figure out our stuff. I feel like this could be a good cover. I don't know, oh, how big is it compared to this? I feel like this is super heavy and could be a good cover. This was my magnets. Ooh, that does feel like cover weight, at least the front of it. All right, we're gonna keep going. I like this size, we could make this, like glue a bunch of these together to make it heavy and use the front of this. I really like the, <laughs> the look of this. Okay, so we're gonna put these in a covers pile, possible covers. And we ha I saved a bunch of my packaging so we can make windows. Ooh, and I saved this amazing heavy duty packaging. Maybe that could be a window in the front. But that's very heavy. So we have plastic stuff. All right, this is very lightweight. Oh, I found this envelope that was just somewhere. I have a heart from my sweetie got me for, um, got me candy. This is from my uh, colon thing. So we have some papers. We have a pizza. And the reason I like this one was because I felt like it opened up real cool. So we have this. I have a whole bunch of envelopes. This is our, I almost thought about using this as the, um, as some of the insides because this is from our neighborhood and I like the colored paper and stuff. So we may do that. What happens if, does this... Yeah, so the this would span that if we wanted to do that, right? So we can make the cover and then hook this together because I'm not trying to make this a production. I'm not gonna sew this. I'm gonna tape all this together. Um, these I thought were cool pieces. Oh, 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 those are the most fun part. This I thought was really super pretty. This is from um, Art by Marlene, and I thought that was really gorgeous. I feel like this we will probably, let's do it. We're gonna fold this in half. Okay. That is wicked cool. So I almost feel like, I've never done this before, I almost feel like we should make, oh, and this is the last super cool thing. I just cut all these out, and so now I have extra flappy bits that I can use these for to make flip ups, flip outs, flippy things, right? Okay. So, where's my cover ones? Let's start with that, because I feel like I have a lot of stuff going on. There we 
coming out, airing out. What size is this? So this feels like the right size. Ooh, what if we glued all of these together to make the back cover and this could open up out of the back cover because that would make it nice. And then this would be the front cover. That's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna make the covers. Okay, so I feel like the first thing I need to do is to get this to stop being um, hard to manage. Okay, so since this is going to be our cover size, let's let's do this and uh, da, 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 da. oh, we've got le pen. I love my le pens. Okay, so I am going to cut along this side. And if you like things super straight in that, use a paper cutter. Oh, that's a relief. We're gonna put that back in our pile. Maybe we'll need it later. Now that is just garbage. Ow. That was kind of hurty. It's, it's fighting back, people. Okay. Hi, Maxie, I know. You're back there. Maxie's the little, little, little dog who has um, little man shoes. Okay. Ooh, that felt a lot stronger when it was all hooked together. I almost feel like is this is going to be strong enough to be. I almost want one more layer of something on here just to to kind of shore it up. Well, mostly now I have paper and this, but I'm just a little worried about this corner. Okay, I almost feel like we need to Especially if I'm going to do a cutout on the front. That makes sense, Schiffer. Okay. So we are going to go all the way across here with a brace. I'm just gonna cut strips to um, make kind of a frame of this front cover, which will be used the most. And we are going to make it a little stronger. I think we can make it look cute too at the same time because we're going to leave the this white and we'll use okay we're going to start gluing <laughs> I almost feel like let's use distress collage medium because it dries super fast and this feels like the kind of project that I want to dry super fast okay let's do to there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. 
And you can make these super straight if you want. All right. You really do with this, you really do get like just a, a wee little bit to make changes, but that's fine. That's what I'm looking for today is fast, fast, fast. This isn't very straight. I don't mind a little crooked, but drunk sailor crooked is too much even for me. Okay. We're going to go up here to wherever we go across. Ooh, that's good. That's a good one. That will help this stay really good. How wide is it? Uh-oh, that's the safer side. To right there. And I usually use Nuvo glue, but that's just for little papers. This is more of a collage, assemblage sort of situation that <laughs> it's stuck. You don't get to move stuff around with Tim Holtz. <laughs> okay. Now we do want to cut this. To fit right in there. Do I need, I need a tiny bit off this corner. There we go. There we go. It's a rough life. It's Sunday morning, so Johnny's making uh, blueberry muffins. Okay, so this, I'm gonna leave like this because this is gonna be the inside. Do I want this to be stiffer? I don't know, we're gonna give it a minute. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that didn't stick. Why didn't that stick? Hold on. This is supposed to stick to anything. Maybe got to push it down. Maybe I was just a little bit too careless. But this isn't sticking either. It's not good. Well, you know what? We are going to go back to our favorite Nuvo glue. See if we can get that to stick. It could be because it's two shiny surfaces together, but I would have thought the collage medium would have stuck that. Okay, well, never fear. Never fear, Nuvo's here. Okay, here we go. So that's gonna be our front cover. And this is going to be our back cover, so we need to glue. And I would like to leave this pretty blue thing, but I think that um, the integrity of my cover will be much better if this is hooked in the middle of these rather than... Um, being just glued on to the front of this. Okay, those are more braces in case we need them. And this is gonna be this. Okay, there we go. All right. So 
So now this feels strong. This feels strong. Now we're gonna have to decide, do we want this to have a spine, right? Is this long enough to be a spine? Not quite. So if we wanted it to have a spine, that would mean that we would do this and then it would ha be a little fat, right? But I don't know that I want that. I do think I want it to be um, pretty, like I want the, the this, oops, this part of the um, spine to be big because then we can have lots of space. Okay, we're gonna do that next, I think. Okay, this stuff is in my way. You guys all gotta go over there. Okay, so we are gonna use fabric tape. And this is pretty fabric tape from Tim Holtz. And it's sticky already. So what we're going to do is get this little side down like this. We're going to fold this over. Okay. We're going to get this nice and straight here on this little amount. Push that down. Then we're going to pull the rest of this over. And get that nice and straight ish. And then we're going to line up our book. Because this is the only part that actually matters, that our covers are relatively you know, even that way. Okay, that's there. Now we're gonna put this on here. And that's gonna cover up the sticky inside of that tape. Right? And then, oops, let's do another kind. Something fun. Let's do, because this, well, let's see. That could be enough. To stick it together. I was thinking I might have to put, this is very tenuously holding on to here. Let's put one more zhuzh of it over here on this side. There we go. And this is cute. I like tape that's pretty. All right, stop it, stop it. Okay, there we go. I feel like that will be much better at holding my book together. There we go. So that is the cover and the spine. Cute. Right. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to leave that fabric tape out because I have a feeling I'm going to be taping more stuff in this book. Okay. 
so now we were thinking, I wonder how many pages I want my book to have. So this is cool because it's already um, it's already stapled together, which is a feature to me. So we could, yeah, we're gonna use this. And we are going to, whoa, a muffin for me. The girls are gonna be so jealous. Okay, where's our Le Pen? So now we want this to be, the inside to be smaller than the um, cover. So we're gonna go there. Okay. I feel like I could cut a couple pages at a time. I can't cut all of the pages at a time, but let's cut this over to here and let's cut this over to here okay so that is going to be the size of the height of the inside of this part of it, at least. Right? Right. So now, to make them all the same size, we will just... flip that over. Okay, I'm going to cut these out, and I will be back. Okay. So now... There's the middle of this. So we need this to come in quite a bit to say there. And I don't really care if these pages are perfectly square and even and stuff, you guys, because I'm making it out of trash, right? This is a great way to make a journal that you're not attached to. You know how sometimes we're like, I couldn't use that one because it's so pretty. Well, this one's gonna be great because it's just a bunch of garbage, right? Stuff that we actually would have thrown out of our house. Okay. There we go. That's going to be our part of our inside. And so, Johnny doesn't think that things are cool. Okay, so we're going to have four. This is going to wind up being four pa two pages, actually. Yeah, yeah, because I want it to have. Okay, so here goes one of the things. I'm going to eat my thing, my muffin, and think about this, and then we're going to have to figure out cute ways to make gizmos because Johnny doesn't like books that don't have gizmos in them. I think this is going to be a gizmo. All right, I'll be right back. So I was thinking while I was having my muffin, and we are going to make this, this is just going to wind up being two pages because this is just type, typing paper. So I am going to first glue every two pages together to make them a little stronger. Mike Constantine, Remax and Associates. A Remax Alliance. Okay. There's one. 
Okay. Now the next two pages. Oh, I hear a magical sound. I don't know what it is. Okay, here we go. Johnny's watching a movie or something. Yay. Okay, there we go. Now we'll do this one. So you never want to glue these two together because then the only thing that's holding them together is a staple. So you always, when you're looking at signatures of books, want to glue so the staples show so that your pages are strong. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. So now this is a decent weight page, and this is a decent weight page. But what we're gonna do is we are gonna make a top opening for one of these. I feel like I could, I feel like I could straighten out this page just a tiny bit. Good golly. Okay, how's this side looking? Oh, that side's a lot better. Okay, so we're gonna make a top opening in this one. And a flippy back. No, we're going to do those on the outside of this. So we may use the back of this, but for right now, we are going to make a... Not, well, not tall enough. Oop, here we go. There's one. Ooh, these are heavier. This is just paper. Oh, I like the weight of these ones. Is this one heavier? No. Ooh, that's a different color. That's kind of pretty. Okay, we'll use these. These two for right now. Very floofy. Okay, this is cardboard. This is not cardboard. All right, let's see if we take this thing off, if it feels more substantial, like a tag. Okay, so this one is going to be, how much can we stick this out on the side since we, we can stick it out pretty far. That'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to make this a right angle. We're going to make this a right angle. And we are going to stick this out enough that we can see it, right? Because we need to know to be able to pull this out. Maybe do a... Okay, that'll work. Right there will work. We can cut a little bit of it if we off if we want. But so, what we're going to do is we're going to glue this in. And since we don't want it to go all the way to the back, we're going to glue to here, right? Otherwise, it would scoot to the back, but we don't want that. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to go over here.
And now we know that once this dries, which this is just one page now, right? One page. Once this dries, we can put that in there. And it will only go as far as that. Cute. Okay. So now this one, we can go as high as we want on this one, right? Okay. So we still have to have some structure in the bottom to make this. But I feel like I could go, I don't want to go too high. I don't want it to look too weird. We're going to go along the middle of this. And then if you like your right angles to be really similar, you can just kind of fold this over and do this. And then your two tag sides will be the same. I don't usually care that much. Okay, here we go. And I haven't decided yet whether I will be using just garbage in here or whether I will be... Um, what I'm going to fill this with right now, I am just putting this journal together. Those are questions for another day. Okay. Okay. Boop. There we go. And now, this tag goes right in there. Okay, there we go. Cool. Something feels weird. It's this one feels weird. Not quite flat. Oh, it's a good thing I checked that. I would not like a puffy place in my journal. Okay. Let's just give it a second for that glue to dry so I don't glue my tags into my pages. Okay, this is the side one. This is the top one. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we have those cool things. Do we want, so I am for sure going to use these as at least one flipper upper, if not more. Stop it. Why is everybody behaving this way? Okay. So... See, I cut off these and left this in in case I want to um, to add anything there. I think I think oh, I think it would be fun. We wanted to do some windows, right, with this. And I feel like it would be fun to have these be windows. Okay, we're going to do it. Maybe two different size windows. Okay. Okay. 
This one can be a tall, skinny window. And this one can be a fatter window. Okay, let's get this thing out of the way and make our flappy flaps. All right, I have this cool stuff. I don't need something that's hard to cut. This was from a um, Happy Plank. So, let's do tall and skinny with this one. So we'll do this one first. So let, let's do this the, almost the whole way around on the back to help reinforce this page. Is tough plastic. Okay, and then right about here. Okay. I don't think I'm going to use these extra ones. And I don't want to ruin my spiral thing by hurting these. Yeah, see, this isn't... It is a very loosey-goosey spiral thing. We don't want to hurt it. So I am going to take all of these out, and I will be right back. Okay, so now, where's our <laughs> tricky piece of plastic? Okay, do we want it to be plain uh, on the front? I kind of do. So now we have to move our spiral binding around. Oh, I should have my glasses for this. There we go. You gotta go potty while. Okay. I'm coming, honey. Okay, while I was letting Wally out, I have decided that it's not worth the effort to fix the spiral binding on this. So we are just going to cut out this side. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. So now I want to make a big window. And I'm going to get it started with my snips. But I'm not going to poke them into my finger this time because that hurts. Okay, so we're going to come over here. Come around here. Boop, 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 boop. Now, see, I would lie to you and tell you that if I was making this for real, I would um, measure more, but I wouldn't. Just don't care. It's good enough. I'm a very straight cutter. I'm a worse drawer than I am a cutter. So, I don't worry as much about my cutting as I do about my drawing. Okay. Now, 
we can put our window in there, right? Perfect. I kind of feel like I want a tab on here so I know to pull it up, right? Okay, let's see. We're coming in here hot like this. This is gonna be sticking up out of there. I feel like I'm too tall right now. Like it would be perfect size if I didn't want a tab, but I want a tab. Let's see. Yeah, I for sure want a tab on here. Actually, I could just cut this part down. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to, let's glue this down. Boop, boop, boop. If you're fretting, cause we'll see the glue, don't fret, there's no fretting in my art. I'm sure we'll see the glue, we'll just put something over it. If this is the first time you've seen me in action, you just need to know that my whole art system is fixing problems I have made for myself in the previous thing. Here we go, that's cute. Oh, that looks lovely. I like that. Okay, so now we are going to cut this off right here. And then we will have a little room. Boop. Oh, I really love that. Okay, cool. We are going to glue this down now. Now, I am not saying that you have to buy Tim Holtz and Art by Marlene stuff to make a cool junk journal, but they got cool stuff to make a cool junk journal. Look at that. That's fun. All right, let's get all this squished down. Nice. I like it very much. Okay, and I have decided right there that I am not going to use junk in here because I am going to use some of these Tim Holtz big things in here. Fun. Okay, so now one more thing we're going to put in here is we are going to do that same thing. And then that'll be plenty in this journal. Oh yeah, that will be fine. And then we'll have to throw away the rest of the junk, right? Right. Um, that's the one thing I could see if I did lots of these. I would wind up saving all the crap that came into the house instead of throwing it away. It's the hardest part of this whole thing so far is pulling out these little papers. I don't know. I feel like compared to other artists, I use my pliers a lot. <laughs> I feel like I spend an inordinate amount of time whipping out some needle nose pliers to get my artwork completed. Tell me in the comments how often you have to use needle nose pliers in your artwork. I want to know if I'm normal or weird. Okay, 
I made a decision while I was pulling those things out that I'm going to make this a Tim Holtz junk journal with this one little thing. <laughs> but I've got all kinds of cool Tim Holtz stuff that the man has made that he made me want to buy that I can use in here. How fun is that? Okay, I don't need those anymore. I do need this for my skinny window. Okay, 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 okay. How big do we want our skinny window to be? Just a peep? Do we want our skinny window to be two? I think I want it to be two peeps. Okay, so how wide? This wide. There we go. There we go. Now this one, because we won't have the um, support of having the whole window, we'll probably have to um, reinforce it, right? But we will see. Maybe, see, because, oh, well, that's a pretty good cardboard. Okay, let's do it this way. Where did Le Pen go? Beep. All right, so I have to make my squares inside of there, right? There we go. Okay, let me go get Wally and I will be back. Okay. Oh. Now we're gonna cut out these holes. Boop. All right. You gotta make that noise when you're cutting stuff. Neep, neep, neep. And if you cut in long straight stretches, you'll get less of those little jaggedy edgy things. And also if you cut in the back of the scissors, you'll get cleaner cuts. A one, a two, a three. There we go. Oh, that's funny. We could have made it with all my leftover Tim Holtz packaging. But we have to spread the love. We have to spend some money with everybody so everybody can stay in business. Right, right. Okay, there we go. How's that little top piece going? There we go. Look relatively square, square enough for government work as we say here in Shea Jacobson. There's my little pieces of plastic. This is good video where you can't see what I'm doing. I know. You'll be able to see it as soon as it smushes on the plastic.
Okay. So, because this one had the plastic all behind it, I feel like this one is going to be a little floofier. Yeah, it does feel a little floofier. <laughs> Stick down, please. I feel like we need to... Yeah, we're going to reinforce this a little bit. all it takes is just a little piece of paper this is um, not heavy cardstock this is pretty light cardstock but I betcha that this is going to be enough to help hold on these glass pieces and reinforce our page. There we go. Okay. We gotta give this a second to, to stick itself down. <laughs> All right, we've got the A heart. So some stuff I'm gonna keep here is our heart, so dear to our heart, our envelope. This is from I got a review on Amazon. Oh, and it would it would close. How cute is that? Okay. All right. Now I feel like it's a little bit more stuck. Okay. There we go. Now we are going to. Boop, boop, boop. We are going to glue this down over here, and we'll just maybe we'll offset it this way, and we'll make a tab. No, let's do it this way. Yeah, we'll do it this way, and then we can have a cute tab sticking out the side. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, dokey. And then we have our, ooh, that's a little sticky. Okay, we got that, we got this, we got this. Ooh, we could put a little envelope on the front of this, and we have a heart. Have a heart, have a heart. I am thinking that this is going to be more of a portfolio than a junk journal, because this is really cute. I like this. Okay, so we are going to, do I want this to, no, I'm going to glue this sucker down too. We're just going to use glue. I was going to try to figure out how to get this stuck in here, but I like glue. It is one of my superpowers. We just need to make sure we can get that tab in there. Perfect. 
We want it up a tiny bit. No, it's kind of in the middle. Plus, plus it's sort of stuck now. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Now, let's get rid of this. This one just was not playing nicely. That's okay. We have this that we're going to put a tab on. We have this flap. We have this flap. This envelope heart. This. We're going to make a front. Do we want? So we have some other stuff. We have envelopes. know I'm feeling like this is the perfect size for me to work in so let's see what we're gonna toss we're gonna toss all my mail because I don't think I want any envelopes we're gonna toss some packaging this if we didn't have that nice heavy stuff we could have totally used this for our windows we got that we could have had a flippy outy page. These all go. This box goes. The only thing I'm going to keep, to be honest with you, is I'm going to keep these because I like these little wire things. Maybe I'll make a whole journal out of one of them or the other. But everything else has to go. I can keep this in case I want to use it for something. But everything else has got to go. Because I can't keep a whole bunch of junk around my craft room if I'm not going to use it. So, this is our junk journal folio. So, next I'm going to um, target it up a little bit. Next video. Tara Jacobs. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson. Artsy Fartsy Life. 